wanna give up. I wanna go home. I wanna go back to where I was before. I wanna give in, 'cause I'm starting to see that there's nothing, nothing here for me. Like life is a game. No one knows how to play. I feel like nobody's winning. How do you draw the line? Oh, I guess it's not even that. And yes, it is. That's amazing. That would be so cool. You are. And then I gotta say hi over here. Look, look, look. And this all the dudes and Rachel needs to get them out of here. Oh, and the toast. Oh, we got toast. Yep, yep. But I have to leave. Lemonade and losing our liberty. Yeah, right? Wow. That's a big one. Yeah. We're at the Denver Airport. <laughs> okay. Right there. Denver Airport. No way. Wow. <laughs> K Small. Like life is a joke. It's not that funny anymore. It feels like we're all on the clock, and we just try to forget that we are. But why do we lie? and his wife and their 11 year old daughter. John was recently diagnosed with stage four lung cancer, Panko's tumor, that has moved into the lining of the lung and in adjoining ribs of the back due to its location and type. It is inoperable and causing severe pain, pushing against the right nerves of the lining of the ribs. There's no operation available. Treatment is limited to say the least. And above all things, my brother and his family could use your prayers above all things. And John Photo Helix has been in the YouTube community since 2007, sharing the love, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that God has graced him with. He needs your help. All he's ever asked for are prayers and needs them now more than ever. Just for one PET scan test alone, that averages $12,000 to $13,000. His wife's insurance will only cover almost half of that amount. So for the hour and a half test, they have to have six to $7,000 out of pocket. This is just one of the many things that is wiping them out financially from two and a half hour MRIs to CAT scans, brain scans, blood and lung biopsies, not to mention doctor's visits and medications. On top of all this, they still have to purchase a casket and try to set up some sort of small funeral. Although this all adds up, they desire your prayers more than anything. However, if you find it in your heart to donate to help his wife and daughter out who are gonna be left behind on the mountain of debt, you can donate at his GoFundMe page or at PayPal at paypal.me slash photohelix77. Hey, brothers and sisters. I'm just putting together this video to bring awareness to Photo Helix's GoFundMe page. John and his family need our help. They're going through a lot right now. I don't know what it's like to 
know that you're gonna lose your spouse or your dad I imagine it's awful on top of that to think of the financial burden that's gonna come with it it's just it just doesn't even seem fair fighting cancer is not an easy thing on a family and uh, you know, I spoke with Airborne Satan he told me that you know, in 2014 he lost his daughter to cancer he said fighting cancer cost his family $23,000 a month and after insurance he was paying $4,000 a month that's a lot of money to have to come up with you know not there are not many people who can you know afford that and then after fighting for 18 months it cost him $20,000 to bury his daughter I can't even imagine what that's like you know that's it's tough it's gotta be almost feel impossible I just want to read Proverbs 1917 whoever is kind to the poor lends to Yahuwah and he will reward them for what they have done I'm not calling them poor but they are in need and if we can help we should so if you can help in any way I'll have the link in the description for you to donate to help John and his family out only one. So I expect all my brothers and sisters to come around. And uh, this is now your mom. Take care of her and the widow that I leave is my wife. Unless God works a miraculous event, he can do it. He can heal anybody. I figured this might be an emotional uh, show, brother. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. You want me to give you a break? I just I wanted to say that uh, all the people have been helping and and then putting amounts into the the PayPal and with the medical expenses and stuff that's coming on and uh, I've got an eleven year old daughter and I'm going to be uh, leaving soon. It would appear unless God intervenes and people have been emailing me and, and <clears throat> prayers and, and thoughts and, and good wishes. People have been trying to keep in contact with Michelle and <sighs> the stuff that you're donating is going to not just help with my medicine for what time I'm left, but uh, probably uh, to help her to put me away in the way that she would see fit or whatever again unless god intervenes if god intervenes and gives me more breath and life then it'll be for his glory those of you praying for me i want to say thank you for that hey john i know i didn't know you as well as everybody else on this video it doesn't mean i don't love you brother I was always happy when I tuned in to Awaken in the Morning and you were on there. Not only are you very knowledgeable, but you're entertaining too. Very animated. You're like uh, if Robin Williams was a preacher. And uh, it makes learning easier too when you have a good sense of humor like you do. So I appreciate that. I appreciate you and all that you've done in the YouTube community, brother. This is a tiny bit about John. There was a time not long ago, I looked out the windshield at the strange foreign world passing by and thought quite possibly I was dead. The things I saw made me question everything about this life and its existence. I even questioned God. I knew I was not in heaven or hell, but possibly some sort of purgatory. My search for answers led me to a man. This man is named John, but many of you know him as Photo Helix. John showed me and countless others that God was still God and had given us warning and instructions for the times and events we were seeing. No man knows the day or hour that he will pass on, but John has been told his time may come very soon. I cried when John stopped preaching as the voice in my head told me he was the last great preacher the earth will have. I don't know what God's plan is, but I know that I've cherished my friendship with Photo Helix. 
and this wonderful family. When you feel so led, then please consider helping John and his family out, especially in these times that they're in. Anyone who's ever had a friend or family who's had cancer and had to go through this, you know exactly how bad this can get, as well as, well, how financially expensive this is. Now, due to the extent of the cancer that John has, it is completely inoperable. Because above all things, we know that the God that we serve is the same God today as he was yesterday. And if there's anyone who can save John, well, it would be Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, whether he decides to heal John or not, that is irrelevant. But please, please remember, as John had said several times in almost all of his videos, if you remember him or you forget him, well, you've lost nothing. But if you've forgotten Jesus Christ, you've lost everything. Anything you can do is appreciated, but above all else, your prayers and faith in the Father through Christ. You and your family are in our prayers, brother. We love you. Please, please remember to keep John and his family in your prayers. So John, I love you, brother. And no matter how this goes, God willing, we'll see you on the other side. We love you, John, and that's a fact. So that's gonna do it for this video. Anybody watching, you have my permission to share this, mirror this. Let's try to help John and his family out. Maybe you can't help right now, but if you share it, maybe it reaches somebody who can help him and his family. I thank you for watching. And as always, please keep John and his family in your prayers. I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. By the blood of Jesus Christ, and by his mercy and his love, if you accept him, the Bible said in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe upon him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, until next time, reading rainbow. Keep my spirits up, right? <laughs> love you. We love you, go home, heal us, we're praying for you, we're praying for you, bye.